going on guys this is the latest project Harley Sportster I uh, started taking it apart um, I just got a few parts in the mail I got these drag bars and the risers threw them on there to see how it looks I'm loving it I like how aggressive it looks it's flush with the tank pretty much up top it's not too high or low Bike's pretty clean, but um, I got this rear fender. I just slapped it on there for now, but I do have to trim it. I'm gonna make a few cuts. I want it to sit nice and flush with the tire. Um, I got a cut right here because it's hitting the belt. Um, <clears throat> Carburetor is filthy. Look at that. So that needs to be taken off, cleaned. I got it with these straight pipes, but I'm gonna cut them anyway, just cause I don't think it looks right. I'm all about proportions and to me, like proportions are everything with a bike. That's why you see some sportsters and they look fucking retarded in my opinion. Like you've hacked the whole back off and it just, it looks too funky. Because people just think that, oh, I take my rear fender off and it's a bobber. It's a lot more than that. You know? You got to be a kind of an artist, too. Think things out. That's that's why my bikes look better than others. And it's the same bike. Because they just did a bunch of random shit. So I'm going to cut this right here. Most people cut it way back here. And I don't think that looks right. Not on a sports here. It makes the... the the rear end of the bike looks so much shorter compared to the front and just throws the dimensions off. But I'm going to cut the pipes probably, I want to make them even with this cover. So I'll take about that much off and I'll, and I measure the distance it is from the first bend to here and I'll match it here. So everything, you know, looks uniform and nice. I have a uh, waiting on a headlight for it. Um, I gotta clean up this rust. This bike had a windshield on it and there was clamps here. It got a little rust in there, but that's no problem. Clean that up. Kind of sad it didn't have the uh, 21 inch wheel. It's got the standard Sportster wheels, but it's whatever. It's gonna look really nice. Got a solo seat coming for it. Got this, I like this, how it pops up. The last one I had didn't have that, it was just the uh, temperature gauge in there. This is a 2005. The shocks be black. I'm loving that rear fender. It's gonna look real nice. Once that frame's cut. I wanna keep the front end as sleek and empty as possible. I'm not running any gauges or anything. I might run a speedometer, but I don't know. I like the phone mount and they have a digital speedometer. You just put your phone right here. I'll probably lower the front about an inch and a half, whatever whatever space I can um, fit the fork through, like right here before it hits, that's how much I'll lower it. I think it's like inch and a half. But this is where I'm at with it. It's getting there. In this box is an entire Honda Rebel. Just threw it in this fucking box. A whole Honda Rebel is literally in here. And here's the front shocks, rear shocks. They gotta get redone. Over here I got the engine. So the Rebel thing looks brand new. Very happy with how that came out. Um, that's about it for now. I'll let you guys know if I do anything else or when I do anything else. Alright, see ya.